couple of days ago. I was home, chilling, vibing, and I wanted something to watch or, you know, just anything to make the time pass. But Twitter was just full of nothing but AI art stuff and uh, art programs not backing up their artists. Oh no, well, art programs too, but I guess also art websites. Um, and then when I went on YouTube to try to look for something more positive, everything was just art drama and commentary or just other types of drama. I don't even really watch drama videos that much, so not exactly sure what was going on there, but they're just i just wanted something happy to watch or just something to vibe to i don't know so i guess i'm gonna have to make the content that i want to see out there because maybe somebody else is sick of just a bunch of negative stuff and not to say that all the other videos and stuff are any lesser or whatever because sometimes i do be feeling like watching those like i just don't want to be upset all the time you know so speed paint with just like random topics about art and like liking art and stuff um if any of these stories or comments of whatever i talk about uh inspire anything from you go ahead and leave them in the comments because i'm really enjoying reading comments and just interacting with people more man i just really miss doing that so thanks anyways this bead paint is of my main OC, Luca. Lucy, I love him so much. I just felt like I've, for the longest time, I've been kind of tired of his hair style, which is sad because I feel like that's kind of his thing. But out of, I, I, Luca has gone through a lot of design changes, okay? He's a growing boy. I had, I just wanted to try something different. But not that different because I still vibe with the colors that I use for his hair. I just wanted a different style. And so I decided I'm just going to draw this like simple portrait thingy that will showcase like a new hairstyle. And he's a shapeshifter. He can change hairstyles every day. It doesn't matter. By the way, if you're still here, uh, continue to watch until the end of the video because I have something, I have a special boy for you to meet at the end of the video. So that's fun. Anyways, I'm just very excited about changing his hair. And just being an artist. <laughs> That's something I've learned from everything on websites. It's just, it's cool to know how to draw. Because literally anybody can do it, right? And when you finally get the hang of things, kind of. Not to say that I get the hang of most things. As you'll see in this video, I struggle with like the most mundane things about art. But it's so fun when you kind of feel like you got it down and then you're kind of proud of yourself for like, I don't know, two days. <laughs> and then you're like, oh, okay, I gotta get better now. It's always just this kind of competition with yourself. Uh, overall, you know what? Art is fun. I have, I, I didn't enjoy drawing for like a while, like recently. I don't know, maybe you can tell in my work, maybe not. I, I don't know if you can, but recently, I've decided I'm just gonna draw whatever the heck I want and it doesn't matter anymore and you know like this and it's so funny to say that because it's not like I'm drawing drawing like different things or weird things I'm, I'm mostly just mean like I don't know my OCs or like fan art of stuff I like which I've always been doing but I was always trying to do it to like I don't, not impress people but I don't know, to meet like a drawing quota. Whereas now I'm kind of just drawing whenever I want. And then it's just, I'm taking my time. <laughs> and uh, one thing that I've been liking about drawing, just because, uh, you know, my art style overall is <laughs> the same as it has been for a while. But I've been really vibing with coloring. When it gets to, when it gets to the time of coloring, that's when it really hits for me. <laughs> I've been just uh, doing different things with coloring and I just love colors overall. I push myself. I truck through the sketching and line arting, line arting, because that's like the worst part, right? Well, for me personally, I know some people do like that part. It's crazy. I wish I could like line art, guys. I really do. I wish I could be that kind of artist, but man, I think we all have these different things where <sighs> I'm trying to remember what my friends like i don't know man i i don't know i don't know if it says anything about like is it your personality or work ethic no not work ethic that makes no sense i don't know 
I don't know exactly what draws you to what it is because I feel like it's always been coloring for me unless I said somewhere that I like line art but that Leslie is dead <laughs> I don't know what the heck she was thinking coloring is so fun but yeah I've just been enjoying just the whole process and um this drawing I wanted to draw something for this video that I would enjoy doing, right? So obviously, Luca, my number one, my most popular and my favorite OC of mine, that's the most fun for me to draw and the easiest, the chillest, like I'm not gonna stress too much about a Luca drawing. Sorry, Luca, just, it's fine, you're just basic. But um, what made it even more fun for me to do, which was, uh, I wanted to reference an old design of his, with his clothing but since it's been like freaking forever since i've drawn him in his old outfit it's gonna look hopefully better and i think it does a little bit i drew him in a this was like the shirt that he's wearing is from his third design back in i don't know 2011 2012 13 it was a it was a while ago okay he's an old man so yeah it's just it's fun it doesn't look good that, yeah it doesn't look good but it's just a reference to old Luca because Luca would not be where he is today if it wasn't for those past Lucas that had to hold him up they had to he got better and better I, I think I mean if look I can show you a picture of, of third design Luca right here look at he's ugly I mean I'm sorry no I'm not I, I designed him I'm allowed to say that he wasn't a great looking dude but look at him now he's come so far he went through puberty he's lost a loved one like he's great he's thriving now not in this picture maybe he's so happy in this picture yeah he is i mean i wouldn't i wouldn't draw him sad i would never do that to him but look at the look at the hair i hate this hair i love it but i know future leslie's gonna be like what the heck were you thinking why did you put this much effort into nothing it doesn't even look good like in real life this hair dye job whatever this hair color job atrocious probably um i mean i'm sure some people can pull it off but like if luca was a real dude he would not pull it off like this he does he looks like not good in my opinion but i love him so much he looks good as a drawing maybe um <laughs> all i did was talk about how much i love luca and coloring listen guys how long have you been drawing <laughs> i'm thinking right with all this ai talk on twitter and just people i just don't want to go too into it because i don't want to get mad but like i was thinking how glad i am that I liked drawing from a very young age. I liked art from a very young age and creating stuff. And not every artist looks like that. Some people like just started, they started drawing a little later in life or painting or making music or writing or whatever the heck kind of art you do. Some people start a little later. Some people just started like a couple years ago or some started this year or last month or whatever. And sometimes that's why people are on my channel because I have tutorials that I don't make anymore. But the thing is, it doesn't matter when you start it. I think what matters is that if you have a genuine enjoyment for it and appreciation for art or creating or creativity. And um, man, I just feel like whoever's out here just watching this and you are drawing right now or feel like doing that or doing whatever you do, you're an artist, man, and you should be proud and don't let that... <laughs> Don't let whatever's going on on the internet right now bring you down or affect your mood. Wait, that's the same thing. Why did I say I said the same thing twice? I just think more than anything right now, the art community needs to come together. Not like the whole community because it's a big one and I, there's a lot of people here. Not all of them are good, clearly. However, just there's a lot of people out there right now who are just taking advantage of other artists right now and our belittling artists and the creation of art and it's frustrating and upsetting and just it's not a good time a total bummer and i think we just kind of need each other it's it's tough out there right now so let's just let's just let's just, let's just vibe together okay anyways i don't know what i'm saying it doesn't really matter anymore does it the whole point of me mentioning that i made art from a young age was uh i mean I know I, I used to draw on the walls a lot with like 
even when I was a baby, I would find my mom's lipstick and I would just draw on the walls or like one time I covered the walls and uh, pads to make a beautiful art piece, which is very expensive, by the way. Do you know how expensive those things are? I'm, I'm so sorry, mom. Um, but I, the most, like one of the earliest things, memories of mine when it comes to creation, which it really wasn't, was um, when I was like really tiny, I learned that if I just mixed flour and water, I can make this like gross paste and I would cover my hands in it. And there's this little crevice in a room where you can sneak behind this big like cupboard or whatever it's called where there where there's like nice fine china but it wasn't really fine china it was probably like knockoff or like i don't know really cheap stuff but anyways i would sneak i would just go inside that little crevice with my gross little grimy <laughs> um, flower hands and i would just paint on the back of the cupboard with my flower paste yeah that that's like w seriously the first memory i can actually remember of you know doing what when i'm like making a thing and i wasn't making a thing and also i don't think i was ever caught and we did move out of that place and i don't think we took the cupboard so maybe it's still there and my art continues to live in a house from like two decades ago which is insane yeah just letting you know i have a legacy um whoever has that <laughs> I hope you know it's worth so much money because it's my original, my very first Leslie Lou Marie original artwork. I hope you saved it. It's gonna go in a museum, baby. Um, man. Yeah, that's my first art memory. So if you can freaking tell me what your first art memory is, please do because I need to know. I don't know if mine counts at all as an art memory, but it, it just, it does to me and I just, I want to hear yours. Thank you for watching the speed paint portion of this video, but check this out. Do you guys remember back in 2017 when an amazing artist by the name of Tal sent me this bad boy right over here? Plush of Luca, beautiful, awesome. Well, five years later in 2022, which has passed technically, uh, by the time of this uh, release, this guy came into my life. Same artist, same character, different design, and five years or five additional years of experience. I, I can't, I can't. It's my arms are too short. I can't show you the whole design. Luca, new uh, new plushie. Woohoo! Amazing. I got this month ago, and I just forgot to post this in an actual video. I'm so sorry. Um, shout out Soft Soap Factory for making this amazing plushie of Luca. Sorry it took me so long to put on my channel, but here it is. If you guys want to see the actual unboxing of this amazing Luca plush, it's going to be right over here. I'll put some links on the description or whatever. Sorry that this came on the video of like me changing his design, but to be fair, the new his new hair design looks like a pain. I wouldn't even know where to start with it. So I think this was for the best. Anyways, thank you so much, Soft Soap Factory. I don't believe they have their plushie commissions open right now, but there will be a link to all of their social media in the description below. And next video, I will be showcasing another special boy. So get uh, look forward to that. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, guys. Please be good outlets and... Uh, Happy New Year, I guess. All right. <laughs> that wasn't that wasn't planned. Bye.